As I look at my daughter, Tessie, I can't help but reflect on all the years I was lucky enough to watch her grow and become the beautiful woman that she is today. She captured my heart when she was born. And I became more and more in awe of her as the years go by. To borrow a phrase from a poem, Lord Tennyson, if I had a flower for the time I thought of you, I could walk in my garden forever. You mean the world to me, beautiful. You're the last thing I think about every night before I go to sleep and the first thing I think about when I wake up in the morning. You are the most beautiful person I've ever met in my life. I'm so lucky to have met you and even luckier to be able to marry you. I love you with all my heart. Love, Scott. Oh, our engagement. April 5th, 2012 to June 29th, 2013. Can't write it on paper Cause someone might peek No, there's no more safe places for Secrets to keep So I said what I need to When I am asleep Won't you meet me? Scott, I don't even know where to begin writing this note to you. You have made all of my dreams come true. I've never been this happy and I owe it all to you. You have been my best friend since our second date and I knew right away that you were the one I'm supposed to sp spend the rest of my life with. You have made me a better person. Every piece of goodness in me comes from you. I hope I can make it through the vows. I love you, Tessie. <laughs> I've learned a lot from Tessie, a lot about life, a lot about love, a lot about being who you are and having faith in yourself. And so, she just taught me a lot about how to be. She's always seems to be one step ahead, so it's sort of like having someone paving the way or testing the waters for me, which has been really great. Very interesting thing about Scott that still to this day impressed me is the fact that he has a personality that can adapt to different people, to different culture. If you look at me and Scott, we don't have much in common, right? <laughs> I'm a little dark, right? He's not. I think I can dance. He can't really dance. <laughs> but he found a way, right, to get close to me, to understand my culture, to understand the things that I care about, so that we actually became very good friends and stayed friends for almost 30 years. All I have for you is As I watch her marry a wonderful man, I'm filled with pride and confidence that she and Scott are about to embark on a wonderful journey filled with love and happiness. May the two of you always trust each other with love, compassion, and kindness. You, you always find me here When the world thinks that I've disappeared you know just where to look You know just where to look And you You have a heart of gold And I Look forward to growing old Cause I'll be old with you 
Tessie said, I picked this gospel reading because I feel like the final line, love one another as I love you, has played a large role in how my parents were raised and how they raised me. If my parents have taught me one thing in my 27 years, it's that I need to love others and to treat others with respect and love. I hope to carry that belief on to our own children someday. Better homily than I could have preached, actually. I do, I do, I do. The words that remind us that as Christians, as followers of Jesus Christ, we are called to love one another. And the model for that love is Jesus Christ and the love that our God has shown us and expressed to us in his son, Jesus Christ. That's why we gather together here in this church to remind ourselves most importantly of how much our God loves us and how we are called to love one another. I, Scott, take you, Tessie, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Tessie, take you, Scott, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. The two of you have declared your consent before God in this community. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and for you both with his blessings. What God has joined, no one may divide. And may Almighty God bless you and all of us, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now it is my privilege to present to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Scott and Teresa Bradbury. Oh, I'll sing I do, I do, I do, I do I do, I do, I do So anyways, this is a few months back now And, and I'm over there and, and I can't remember what we were doing But um, I, I found myself, I was thinking about the closet again. I'm like, could it be three? Because like, we ripped this thing out three times. So I walked into their bedroom, and I was kind of inspecting the work that we had done. I was admiring it because we did a good job the second time. And then I realized that I, I saw this really odd little book in the shelving. It's, it's, a, it's a blue book. It's got a little plane doing some circles with some hearts and stuff. To my surprise, I realized that I had just stumbled across Scott's diary. You didn't lose it, pal. I stole it. <laughs> it happens to be right here with us tonight. Fall 2008, Dear Diary. You know those mornings when you wake up, you get ready for work, you look in the mirror and realize that your hair just looks really good? <laughs> yeah, today was one of those mornings. Again, September 2010. Dear Diary, I can't even believe it. I met my dream girl this weekend. Her name is Tessie. We had an instant connection, but I left without getting her number. But, just like a good rom-com, I U-turned in the parking lot, stormed back in and got it. I ended up getting her number, but got a little too excited about it and sent her three text messages when I got home. He documented this, I love this. What was I thinking? 
On Saturday morning when I met up with Junior, I told him about meeting Tessie and the three text messages in a row. He told me to wait to hear back from her before contacting her again. Good advice, I told you guys that earlier. I told him, no way, and that I'm gonna break all the rules for this one. I'm so clever, what a great line. <laughs> September 2010, Dear Diary, I just got back from my first date with Tessie. She's so amazing. She makes my knees weak and my heart go pitter-patter, pitter-patter. I'm freaking out. Today's the day. I'm going to ask Tessie to marry me. I'm asking her at Stone Ridge Golf Course where we went on one of our first dates. Her parents, my parents, and a bunch of friends are going to surprise her after I do it, too. I'm such a romantic. Giggles. <laughs> Today's a special day, and um, I didn't want it to go without entry. And so I, I wrote the final entry for you, too. Here it is. Saturday, June 29th. 2013, Scott and Tessie, congratulations on your wedding day. I feel so honored and privileged to have been a part of such a special day for the two of you. Scott, over the last eight years, you've been a great friend. You're reliable, intelligent, and a blast to hang out with. Tessie, you're a strong, confident woman that has the personality to guide my buddy Scott through life. Your personalities, interests match up perfectly, and I'm so happy that my best friend on the girl he's been holding out so long for. Here's to a long marriage filled with health, happiness, children, and Ohio State victories. Cheers. This kind of love makes me feel 10 feet tall. Makes all my problems fall. So I ask the couple and all of you this evening, what greater thing is there for two human souls than to feel that they are joined together to strengthen each other in all labor, to minister to each other in all sorrow, to share with one another in all happiness, and to be with one another in silent, unspoken memories. This kind of love is why I'm standing here. Uh, more importantly, I'm honored to be marrying the woman of my dreams. And um, I'm the luckiest person in the room. <laughs> T Tessie's absolutely beautiful and the beauty on the outside doesn't even compare to the beauty on the inside of, of my wife. I'm proud to call her my wife. This kind of hope is what I tried to find And now I can't deny I believe And this kind of faith is so unshakable It's unmistakable It's bigger than me There's nothing like the feeling of um, Dad when you and I were standing behind those doors today. And for how nervous I was, I felt like I had, holding on to you, I had all the strength in the world to walk down to the love of my life. And I just want to thank you so much for tonight. So thank you. I can't get enough of this kind of love. I'm just, when I was walking down the aisle today, I didn't know how I would feel. If I would cry, if I would giggle, or how I would feel. And I just couldn't stop smiling because all I could look at, all I could look at was, you know, stare into his eyes. And it was this, just the most amazing feeling that I had the strength of my father and then the strength of looking into my future husband's eyes. And I'm telling you, it was probably the best moment of my life. Well, baby. 
know, but you, you are just the best person in the world, and I'm so lucky, and I love you very much. Kind of love